Today I want to talk about Terrence Ferguson, who has committed to the University of Alabama. Nick Saban is on a tear. And all that's coming up after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You gotta help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related, sports related. We have a good time today. We need to talk about four-star top 50 player Terrence Ferguson, who has committed to the University of Alabama. He is six foot four. He is 300 pounds, and he is the number two ranked offensive guard in this class behind Donovan Jackson, who is committed to Ohio State. And that's really the story here, as the kiddo out of Peach County, Georgia, has just given Nick Saban yet another win. I mean, talk about Dallas Turner to start this month. Then you get the Brockenmeyer twins. Now you add Ferguson, and you all of a sudden have a starting offensive line, pretty much, right? Because you got your center in James Brockenmeyer. You got your tackles in J.C. Latham and Tommy Brockenmeyer. And now you got a guard in Terrence Ferguson. All of those dudes also rank inside the top 200, and four of those players are top 50 players. That's five top 50 players in a 15-man class for Alabama. And at 269.40, you do the math on the 247 sports calculator, they have the number two ranked class in the country now with three fewer commits than North Carolina have overtaken them by eight points. This is an Alabama class that was ranking inside just outside, excuse me, the top 50 in April. And then with Latham in June, really Ajay Hall and others, guys like Ja'Cory Brooks, they started to pick up some real momentum. And Nick Saban on the FaceTimes with the kids, making it happen. More than that, Charles Kelly needs to get a tip of the hat because he's been doing an outstanding job here. Associate defense coordinator, safeties coach for the University of Alabama. And looking at some of the dudes in this class, every one of these guys was somebody that at Texas, that at LSU, that at Georgia, that and Oklahoma won it, even at Ohio State, right? Because J.C. Latham, many of us thought Ohio State was going to be it. He goes to Bama. You look at dudes like Dallas Turner, we thought perhaps maybe Florida or Georgia. No, he goes to Bama. Terrence Ferguson is between Georgia and Alabama all the way. He's leaving the state to go to Alabama. Christian Leary, who is going to play the capstone position at Alabama at the wide receiver spot, was a guy that many folks thought was going to head to Oklahoma out of Edgewater. No. He's going to Alabama, and it continues to progress in this way. So knowing that pick up three commitments in the last three days that are all top 100 or top 150 players is outstanding for Alabama. It's outstanding to know that you can add a guy like Terrence Ferguson who provides you some length and some punch on the interior. I know that guard is the most athletic position, that we have on the offensive line. It's also one of the easier positions to try to find guys to fill just because you don't really find the kind of dudes that have that kind of length playing at offense attack, right? They, they're shorter dudes, move inside, longer dudes, move outside. Like there's a six foot 10 North Dakota State offensive tackle that I learned about just a couple of days ago. And my goodness, Phil Lowell Holt at Oklahoma is like six foot seven. And Noah Nelson at Oklahoma as a true freshman now is six foot eight. But in J.C. Latham and Tommy Brockermeyer, you get my goodness, six three and a half and six foot six. Then add Ja'Cory Brooks and Ajay Hall out there at those wide receiver positions. Then you go to De Deontay Lawson, who I think has an opportunity to be a really good player for them. But Kendrick Blackshear is also just a name that is going to ring out in recruiting. Been following Kendrick Blackshear since he was 14 years old. He has looked ready to play in the NFL since he was 14 years old. Six foot two, 250 pounds. And then you get to add other guys like Ian Jackson to the mix, Kane Williams to the mix. Anquin Barnes, Devontae Smith, who was once committed to Ohio State. And this has all of a sudden turned into an outstanding day for recruiting with Jordan Hancock earlier today, committing to Ohio State after once having been committed to Clemson. He's very excited about it. His family's very excited about it. But if you're an Alabama fan, you're predicting this, right? It's nice to be an Alabama fan in that you get to watch Nick Saban just decide to make a tear through this recruiting thing in like the last three months when I thought for real that Alabama was going to be in a bad way with USC picking up steam, with North Carolina getting guys like Tony Grimes in the boat, with Georgia just going commit for commit with Ohio State. I just thought that perhaps this might be the year that Nick Saban falls off. No, nope, no, nope, I was wrong about that. And Nick Saban continues to be 
one of the most dominant college football coaches and recruiters of my lifetime, which is saying quite a bit, right? Because I lived through Urban Meyer at Bowling Green State, Utah, Florida, and Ohio State, right? And I know what kind of recruiting goes on at Ohio State. And then when you look around at some of the other dynamic recruiting operations with Will Lyles and Chip Kelly some years back, right? And then knowing what Gus Malzahn was able to do with Cam Newton and the way that they got Demetrius Davis into the boat. Then here recently with Gary Patterson just taking parts like LJ Collier years ago out of West Texas, turning him into a first round draft pick. And now you have dudes like Marcel Brooks and Zach Evans who are going to TCU. And yet and still, Ed Orgeron has been one of the best recruiters of anybody's lifetime. And, and we're looking at Nick Saban continuing to style on him after winning a national championship, going 15-0, having a Heisman winner, a Bolitnikoff Award winner, a Joe Moore Award winning offensive line, and the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award, and 14 NFL draft selections. Nick Saban's still able to get the number two ranked class in, in re recruiting. What? Like, Ohio State is on another level right now. With Emeka Egbuka, JT Tuimolau, and a Tristan Lay or J.C. Latham, they're competing for the greatest class of all time. Even still, Nick Saban is keeping pace with them because the score for Ohio State right now is 305, right? 305 and change. 305 and change usually wins you the recruiting national championship. Nick Saban says, so, watch me. So, I am watching. I know you're watching. I know we're all watching Terrence Ferguson, for which we got to get into the evaluation, right? This is a man who was on campus for junior day in February and spent time with Bryce Young and the offensive staff for which we have this evaluation for 247 Sports, possesses adequate stature and good length for an offensive lineman, has room to add good mass to his frame while reshaping his body once in a college strength and conditioning program for which Alabama has modernized its own with guys like David Ballou. Works at left tackle in high school, could project to several spots along the offensive line at the next level, is a functional athletic mover and marries his footwork with his length and heavy hands, making him a punishing Run blocker, plays with an edge and finishes blocks with authority, effective in getting a push against defensive ends while also having the ability to get to the second level against linebackers. Looks more advanced as a run blocker than in pass protection at this point, but shows signs of developing an effective protector in pass game with his length, feet, and ability to anchor on contact. Has a little positional uncertainty and some lack of true athletic context at this stage and will need to continue to develop from a technical standpoint. Projects as a multi-year starter at a Power 5 level with upside of developing into an early NFL draft pick. Kyle Flood is going to have lots of good players to work with. This is another one of them. All right, that is it for me. Deuces.